No ifs, ands, or buts about it. When God said it, God meant it. That settles it. He always causes us to what? Right. In Christ. And maketh manifest. Makes manifest. The word manifest means in evidence. You can see it. Makes manifest. This one you can smell. The savor. Right? Of his knowledge by us in every what? Without exception. Oh, glory, what a ministry. <laughs> huh? That, you young people, just blows your mind, right? <laughs> Even you older ones get blown on that one, huh? Isn't that something? The word savor is fragrance. You know, he maketh manifest the fragrance, the sweet odor. Brute. Uh, <laughs> Chanel, whatever it is. He maketh manifest the fragrance of his knowledge. Of his knowledge. We've been this trip, many of us. That word of God is the sweetest thing. It just smells good to us. <laughs> The moment we get on the word, something happens that all the artificial perfume can't compare with. But the key is that this fragrance of the knowledge of God has to be manifested by us. We are the ones that have to tell it like it is. We've got to hold it forth. We have to share it. And it's the sweetest smell this side of here, the word, in every place without any exception. Is that what it says? The neighbor says he doesn't like it. Don't worry about what he says. The word says it'll still smell sweet even to the neighbor. That's right. If he's born again or headed that way. It says in verse 15, for we are. Well, if we are, then we what? Are, so quit arguing. <laughs> we are unto God a sweet fragrance of Christ. Boy, oh boy. Isn't that just tremendous? God has a sweet smell because of who we are because of what Christ is in us, as we make known the knowledge of his will, his word. In them that are saved, and in them that perish to the one, we are the smell of death, unto death. And to the other, the fragrance of life under life. <laughs> to those people outside of the pale who will not believe God's word, we stink. Well, I've been that trip too. They just call us Mr. Stinky or something. <laughs> because that word of God, they don't want to believe it. They don't want to hear it. They want to cop out. They want to trip out. They don't want the word. Well, bless God, the word tells you what they're going to think about it. But on the other hand, for those to be saved and those who are saved, it's the fragrance of life. Well, it's a fragrance of life. It's the sweet smell of life. And for those of us in this auditorium and around the nations of the world where they'll hear this tape this week, you are the people that have to be that fragrance of life. Because God gave us life in Christ Jesus. He turned us on. He changed us. He took us out of hell and set us on the road to heaven. Even though it's an earthen vessel, the excellency of the power is still of who? But without that earthen vessel, there is 
no power in manifestation. God needs you. 